What's up guys and girls, B2 here, checking in with another episode of Black Mobile Desert. And I'm going to take a look at boss runs tonight. I've gotten a pretty good hang of it. Uh, we've made some pretty good progress. I think I only have two more to go. Uh, we're going to go through the, the fight here for Orgo, who uh, took me forever to beat, by the way. So, uh, you know, good luck on this. But uh, as I talk through it, so it's really not that hard for, uh, as I said, I get knocked back. But it's really not that hard of a of a boss fight uh, for any of them, to be honest. It's uh, for a mage or for the witch. You just got to blink out of the way of it and then dodge a, a this and a that. It's pretty simple, right? So uh, blink to the back side, and we're just going to talk about this. So most of the boss runs, I'm going to let it play because I'm strong enough just to kind of withstand, I think, whatever he's got to slam on me. I can just continue to wail on him. Uh, so what what you do is throughout the um, throughout the quest line there will be stops where you have to hit elite monsters and they'll be named like Red Nose and Gieth and you know Orgo and there's probably I think twenty or so uh, on there I can show you once we get back to the main screen uh, once you beat it the original time you can put it on the auto path and you see it down there at the bottom with the circles going that's the auto path button I don't even have to play this so I'm not even touching buttons it's just wheeling around for me. And, uh, and we beat it. It's it's one of the brilliant phases of the mobile game, making it a little bit more less, a little bit more less, a little bit less grindy than the actual online version. And so you can see we go ahead and took them off. And then now that exclamation mark down there on Orgo, I can claim my difficulty. Um, so here, let's count these up, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 or four, yeah. So there's like 14 of them. So what will happen is each one that you click on, like the beginning will be Red Nose. He'll be the first one that you fight on your quest line. Once you have cleared him, um, then, and you continue on the quest line, Jeth will be the next one. Now these guys drop loot based on the level that you're at. So if you see my next reward here is 122K silver. And over here, I'm gonna get a good weapon, Blackstone. Now it's total random. If I do a single pass here, you can see it's going to give me a, a Kobe pass. Um, and then I'm only two or three. So if I use gems to get another one, there's not enough uh, stamps to exchange. So uh, no big deal. Then when we go into the difficulty for Gieth, I'm also on difficulty 10. And then up at the top right, you can see this up in the top right hand side um, where it says difficulty 19 is to X super X. He's got the furthest um, into this for as far as rewards go, right? So when you do go ready to fight something on here, so let's go ahead to Orgo again, and I'm gonna hit prepare. Um, you'll notice a couple of things here, right? So it gives you a player CP and a suggested CP, and I'm well over, 150 over. What's needed, I'm at almost 2100 CP. Um, the the chances for the prizes are at the in that middle row there at the very end you're going to get the ultimate gruntal armor or you have a percent chance for it there's a multiplier at the bottom don't use that move past to higher difficulties um, and then you also were going to get 42,000 coins as well as 15 ancient gold coins and so the ancient gold coins you use at Shaka 2 um, and I have a video coming out on that too the Shaka 2 I didn't really understand it until I was about 40 levels in and Man, like uh, it's just something that can go. So we're gonna go ahead into this um, into this run here for Orgo, and then I'll show you. So it just kind of starts. And it gives you a timer to auto play. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit auto, and we're gonna let this guy run through while we talk about it, right? So um, with these bosses, the the suggested CP will pretty much let you through here. Um, it's a really good way to pick up prizes. The other side too is picking up the golden coins for the Shaka 2. What you can do is turn around and use that for your collection. And collection is something I didn't start on until about level 45 because I just didn't understand it. Um, and now that I do, I wish I had started from the very beginning. Uh, I could have finished that collection a lot quicker and picked up some of the rewards for it, right? Now, the other thing you'll notice too is at that tier 5-4 at 2088 CP, um, I had to go back through the quest line. Um, I just blazed through it and made a ton of levels, which made it a lot easier. Um, and now I can go through the knowledge screens and kind of make it back through and finish some of the other supporting quest lines. At 50, the XP becomes incredibly hard. Like for instance, today I've done three offline runs at XP and I only made about 30% of a level. I was making way more of that sleeping offline and grinding before. Um, even 
with the Black Spirit buff for the pre-registration, giving you 800 extra um, um, weight, basically, to carry items, and an extra 30 that I got um, purchased through the Black Pearls, right? So if you've not done that, there's a way to purchase some some loot through here, um, and you can go into this into this area and, and look at, like, the... Um, Oop, let's get into the boss fight here. But uh, what we can do is afterwards, I'll make another video on how to kind of um, boost up your character a little bit if you're just starting out and what to buy to kind of make a big difference. Um, the chicken soup and, and different things like that that'll boost your character out, right? So let's just go ahead and finish out this boss fight. And I think it's going to be okay to auto through. Um, you can also set your potions if you click in here um, and go to settings and then you go to convenience, you can actually set your potions to go to 70%. I keep it up on 90 because I just, I'm, I don't run out of money or anything and I don't want my guy to die, right? So every time he goes below 90, uh, he drinks another potion or 90%. So think about it in these terms. If you have 2,500 hit points and you're looking at basically 200 per, uh, per heal on the medium potions there, then uh, you're going to be able to um, hit 85% before you would max out again. So once it gets below 90, you're not really wasting that much anyway, right? I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, so that's pretty much it on the boss runs. Um, you're going to want to trade those tickets in. You're going to pick them up through running your ancients, right? So if you come in here and you hit the menu and you come down to the ruins runs, um, you're going to pick up a lot of uh, extra coins and things through here, right? So I don't think I can actually, yeah, I don't have enough to, uh, oh, that's a CP warning. So, uh, so yeah, an ancient run. Anyway, so that's the boss runs, and I'll start a separate video for the ancient runs now.